hello everyone welcome back to another video my name is lily i am currently a senior in college going for elementary education and i'm also a preschool teacher but today i'm gonna be talking about books showing you my bookshelves and all my books because i've gotten a lot of questions about what kinds of books i like to read so you're gonna learn a lot about me in this video so this is the top of my first bookshelf so we have some valentine's day cards over here um we have this adventure fund thing and i do share all of my spaces with my boyfriend so i also have a bookshelf over there that is actually his side of the room but all of the books on there are mine for the most part so i have this little shoe and this is where i house all of my bookmarks and then there's a pen in here for annotating but my tabs are not in here at the moment and then i have these little bunnies that i got in tennessee a long time ago this little fish that has some random jewelry in it and this little frying pan that has some stuff that i reached for lately except christmas was a while ago so that's a little embarrassing and this butterfly doily was actually handmade by my aunt then we have my favorite lotion i use this every night before bed because as a preschool teacher i wash my hands like 52,000 times a day so no cracks the best i have like a pattern of salt and pepper shakers i collect salt and pepper shakers so these are some of the antique ones i have and then i have this cute little llama wearing glasses he doesn't have a match and then i have my pet mom little sign here it's ray done and then um i have a poetry book my boyfriend and i we read a poem together every night and then some books i hope to read soon and then i have some harry potter bookmarks that don't fit in my bookmark holder so they're just here and then I have some current reads. I have The Titan's Curse, which I haven't started yet. I just finished Sea of Monsters today. And then this book called Refugee that I have to read for one of my classes, but I think I'm gonna enjoy it. It sounds really interesting. And then I just have this pencil bag that I use for journaling and things that I just keep here. All right, so now we're on to my first shelf and this is where I keep my professional development books. So I have these little teacher sticky notes that I really love. And I have an owl and a little apple. I feel like these things really represent teachers. And then my cousin got me this teacher snow globe for Christmas and I absolutely love it. It's a school bus, it's so cute right here this one is called the reason i jump and if you saw my favorite reads of 2020 you saw this book it's about autism and then i wish my teacher knew i'm currently reading this for the second time for an educator's book club um for white folks who teach in the hood it's a really good one um this is called 15 days my professor actually wrote this book i guess i will go through all these purposeful hustle this is signed by the author really good like self-help kind of book love teach this is a new one i haven't read it yet i have multiplication is for white people why are all the black kids sitting together in the cafeteria this one was a very popular this summer this past summer if i get to five this is more like child psychology teach like a pirate i have Leading Change in Your School, The Wild Card, The Best Schools, Limitless Minds, and this one about integrating and differentiation. Over here, I have my poetry and like quote book inspiration section. Down here, this one's called Pied Poetry and it's actually autographed by the author. I have some owl salt and pepper shakers and I have this rubber duck I got for the opening night of my first high school production i was in um i have a beautiful day in the neighborhood it's all mr rogers poems where the sidewalk ends of course by shell silverstein i have all three of the 
Women Are Magic series by Amanda Lovelace. So there's the princess saves herself in this one. The witch doesn't burn in this one. And the mermaid's voice returns in this one. I have Adolescence, Pillow Thoughts 1 and 2, Milk and Honey, The Sun and Her Flowers. I have When We Were Very Young by A.A. A. Milne. Then I have this book called Adultish, and it's like a little self-help adulting book. This one's also like a self-help adulting book. And then I have the, like, a quote book of Mr. Rogers quotes, the girl's book of wisdom, which is, like, all quotes about different things for girls, um, a Thomas Kincaid art and quote book, um, and then I have these bunnies, which I'm gonna put back out again for my Easter decor in my kitchen. I have the 365 Days of Wonder book, then we have my tiny biography section with my Mr. Rogers pop figure that I don't want to take out of the box. Um, so I have the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass. I read that for a class in college. Um, Lauren Conrad style, The Good Neighbor, which I haven't read yet. It's been on my TBR forever. Becoming Dr. Seuss, I read this last year. Mary Poppins, She Wrote, Hope in Front of Me, this is autographed by Danny Goki. Then I have Sounds Like Me by Sarah Bareilles, and Grey by Pete Wen. All right, we're on to the second shelf, and if you can't tell, this is my theater shelf. So I have all of my theater-related books and things. If you didn't know, musical theater, theater in general is just like my other love my hobby but it hasn't really existed in a year and i am heartbroken i have like the ones that are like the um like the whole script but also things about the show so i have like rent dear evan hansen wicked phantom natasha pierre and the great comet of 1812 the hamilton obviously i have the hamilton like obviously and then i have some music books i have like this musical theater anthology um the best of broadway sheet music and then i have the evita movie and evita musical um books and then my hong script and score which as you can tell is very beat up and very loved and then i have like this hamilton magazine the people about um nick cordero and I have my Sleeping Beauty script. I have this musical theater quiz book, the Wicked novel, the Jervin Hansen novel. I have the You Will Be Found book, Good Morning, Good Night by Lynn Manuel Miranda, one of my favorite books. I have a bunch of Hamilton books. I have Alexander Hamilton's Guide to Life. I have the Hamilton biography, which I did read last year and was one of my biggest accomplishments of 2020, honestly. Alex and Eliza, My Dear Hamilton, The Other Boleyn Girl. Then I have a burn book right here that I just have a bunch of like positive quotes in because I turned something negative into something positive. I have this little pin that my friend Coco sent me when she did the Disney College program and couldn't be here for my birthday. I have um, this little singer girl that I just thought looked really cute here. I have a theater goers journal. I have this plaque that says never underestimate the power of a woman. I have Matilda. Um, Today is going to be a good day journal. The Dear Evan Hansen libretto. Um, then I have my scripts from The Curious Incident and the Dog in the Nighttime. Ghosts, A Doll's House, Tartuffe, and 39 Sips. Sweet Todd libretto and Cinderella libretto. This is Salt and Pepper Shakers and they're magnetic, which is really cool. I have my Buddha. And then over here, I have some biographies of theater people. These are from Leah Michelle's Brunette Ambition book. I have Homework by Julie Andrews. A Little Bit Wicked by Kristen Chenoweth. And some of the other decorations. I have a Buddy the Elf. I have my Winnie the Pooh little salt and pepper shakers. I have this mini Shakespeare book that has a bunch of different Shakespeare quotes. And then I just have this Mickey soap from Disney World when I went in 2007, and I just look cute there. Okay, this last shelf on this bookshelf 
is so it's a little bit of everything but I have some series on here then I have some of my favorite books and some TBRs but also some of the series are also TBRs so yeah um by this Pegasus I have the rest of the Percy Jackson series which I'm slowly getting through I'm gonna start the third one and then behind Jack and Gus these are salt and pepper shakers I have one of my favorite book trilogies so i have wonder right here i absolutely love wonder and then white bird is pull it out it's huge first of all but it's a graphic novel spin-off about julian's grandma and it's a holocaust story and then i have augie and me which is like a sequel with more points of view then I have the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. I'm not going to talk about it. And then I have If I Stay Where She Went. Um, I have the first To All the Boys I've Loved Before book. I haven't read it yet. It's a TBR. As is Uglies. And I have Specials. And then I have a Coca-Cola Bear right here. And then these are some of my favorite books I've read. Um, the Book Thief, The Hate You Give. I haven't read Concrete Rose yet. But I couldn't like separate those. Um, the Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. Love this book. Perks of Being a Wallflower, Airheads, The Good Girl, Before I Fall, and The Lovely Bones. And then these are all TBR. There's Gone Girl, Sarah's Key, Lock and Key, Eliza and Her Monsters, the first book in the Land of Stories series, so I can start that series soon. And then I have two, not like, novellas for the Land of Stories, and there's a unicorn because that's like a fantasy thing so yeah all right so this is actually like all series the shelf is i'm gonna go through it so obviously right here i have all my harry potter books and i know harry potter is problematic i started reading them like at the beginning of the summer and when i got to like book six jk rowling became a problematic person but i really didn't want to stop reading them so i did finish and I'm still kind of really into Harry Potter. Sorry. <laughs> um, I have the first two books and then three is missing because my friend is borrowing it right now. And then I have the rest and I have Cursed Child right here. Um, my friend got me a chocolate frog from Universal. And I got the Dumbledore card. So I just put that there. And then I have a Remus Lupin wand stand with his wand. But... It doesn't fully stand up in here so here's Remus Lupin's wand and then I have a Hedwig and then this is a fish castle but I thought it resembled Hogwarts very well and my fish died so I just put it on here and then behind the castle and then there's a little owl with glasses on behind the castle is my Hunger Games trilogy I still don't have the prequel and I have my little Mockingjay bracelet hanging. Then we have the Giver trilogy, or not trilogy, quartet. Um, I read those last year. I read a lot of series last year. I read Harry Potter. I read The Giver. So, yes. And then my giant Twilight collection, which I just have a lot of sentimental memories about Twilight. So I cannot get rid of it, even though it's trash but i even bought the 10th anniversary edition of twilight and then there's also life and death and then my movie copy of twilight which was my first twilight book ever and then i have new moon eclipse breaking dawn breaking dawn movie cover and then i have wonder woman right here <laughs> and then i have like um, the parody nightlight. I have the official illustrated guide. Um, I have the second life of Brie Tanner and the director's notebook and all four movie companions. I have these little owls right here and a dinosaur with a bow tie. So then this shelf, um, houses our Google right there. But, and then there's this picture Sam put here of us um, at Graceland, which is really cute. So, um, this is classics on this side. And then I have some, those are more classics. And then I just have like random books here. 
that don't have like an explanation. I guess I'll start on this side and I have a bunch of these little Disney, I don't know what they're called, like Tsum Tsums. I have a piglet. I have like a tiny little Marie right here. And I have Bambi and Mickey and I have a genie somewhere. Oh, and then here's like a little bunny. So right here, this is my boyfriend's. I bought him this Marvel Encyclopedia and then I have a bird book and then I bought him this Apollo Expeditions to the Moon because he's really into NASA. So got him this NASA book and then I have the essential guide to Frozen. Usually my Bible and my Bible journal are right here, but I've been using them a lot. This is another Bible journal. I have this Pope Francis book my friend got me in Italy and another bird watching book. And then these are just some funny books that I don't really know. They're just random. So there's I Love You With All My Butt and it's like all this funny, I'll show it to you. It's like all this funny artwork kids make. So my mom got me this as a Valentine's Day present like last year. And then how to speak emoji. I have this one called looking for love. It's like a funny Valentine's Day book. And I have another Valentine's Day book. It's happy bunny love bites. And it's all sarcasm because you know how happy bunny is. So then I have this little New York box and there's the genie right here. And that's just where all my rolled doll books are. Oh, and Tinkerbell and Winnie the Pooh. All right, they're all there. Um, but I have the BFG, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, James and the Giant Peach, and Matilda. Then I have these dog salt and pepper shakers that are just so cute. And then I have Charlotte's Web, Peter Pan, Leatherbound, so gorgeous. Here's Case of Benjamin Button. I have these really old vintage books um, of William Shakespeare's Complete Works Volumes 1 and 2. And a really old Edgar Allan Poe Complete Works. Then I have like the Complete Chronicles of Narnia. I have The Great Gatsby. I have um, a Deadpool Pop. It's actually my boyfriend's. Um, but I have The Great Gatsby, a really gorgeous version of it. This is Great Expectations, another really gorgeous version. I've never read this. I've never read Narnia. These two are like in my TBRs. And of Green Gables, I have this Ch Children's Treasury of American Stories and Poems. And then A Treasury of Fairy Tales. And this really cool illustrated version of The Wizard of Oz. So that's pretty much this shelf and there's a big gap because I took my Bible off of it and there's just a huge gap now. So yay for that. And then down here I have books that are like by, well these ones are like ones I have of like multiple of the same author and then these are all middle grades that I want to read. I just ordered a couple more middle grade books that I want to read. But yes, um, over here, this is a Fault in Our Stars bracelet and it's by my John Green books, obviously, The Fault in Our Stars, which I've read probably four times and it's one of my favorite books. Paper Towns, An Abundant of Catherines. And then these my boyfriend bought me. He thought I would like these. They're um, Kalad Hosseini's books. There's The Kite Runner and and The Mountains Echoed. I haven't read either of those, but I will soon. And I just have this little bottle in front of it. Then I have all my Nicholas Sparks books. I went through a huge Nicholas Sparks phase in like middle school, high school. And there's the 60s Coca-Cola Bear, but I have um, two by two. What is this one? True Believer, I think? Yeah. No, True Believer of Bend in the Road. The last song, one of my favorite Nicholas Sparks books. Dear John, Safe Haven, 
The Wedding. Um, I haven't read this one, but it's Every Breath. Um, the Lucky One. And then my favorite one is The Best of Me, The Notebook, Love at First Sight, and The Rescue. I have a piggy bank. It's just really cute. So I put it here. And I have a lot of these Peg Caret books. There was actually one on my tbr i have um ghost dog secrets over there but i also have stolen children and then i have this the trilogy with spy cats and trapped and the stranger next door so that's a trilogy and then here are a bunch of other um middle grades some of them i've read i've read inside out and back again I've read, no, I haven't read Flying Solo. I've read Esperanza Rising. It's a really great book. I read um, Number of the Stars by Lois Lari. And then there's Escaping the Holocaust. This is actually a true story. So haven't read that one yet. Frindle, Lunch Money, Ella Enchanted. The Two Princesses of Bemare. And then this is like a, a series. I'm missing one of them. But there's Flatbroke, Crush, Vote, and Liar Liar. And I don't know which one I'm missing. But there is one that I am missing. And then, oh boy. Okay, then I have Swindle, The Lemonade War. And the one with the pain and the great one. And then a Kool-Aid Man pop, that's my boyfriend's, and two of the Amulet books. So that is everything on my personal bookshelf. And if you like these kind of videos, like reading content and bookworm content, let me know and I could make more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Stay beautiful.